Bubbles and the Mud Pie Birds All the little ponies were very cross with Bubbles. Why do you keep rolling about in the mud so much? said Sprinkles. Just look at the muddy hoof marks over everything, grumbled Peachy. I've never seen the grooming parlour like this. Pony feathers, go and borrow Trickle's watering can. You'll need it to get all that mud off, scolded Peachy. Trickles was helping Lemon Drop build a new flower jump. Can I borrow your watering can? cried Bubbles. She ran up and stepped into the flower bower. My flowers, you've ruined them, cried Trickles. Get up, cried Lemon Drop. Give her the watering can, and please, Bubbles, go away, far, far away. I don't know why you hate mud so much, cried Bubbles. We like it, said Baby Firefly. Let's make mud pies. So Bubbles took the babies to the silver stream. On the bank she mixed lots of earth and water together, making lots of lovely mud for pies. The baby ponies were delighted and set to work eagerly. Happy hooves, this is fun, laughed Baby Blossom. I'm decorating my cakes with these flower petals. Look at my shiny pebble cakes, begged Baby Moon Dancer. They are round and shining, just like the moon. But after a while, the baby ponies started fooling about. Baby Cotton Candy and Baby Blossom threw mud at each other. And Baby Glory tried to eat her pies. Heavy hooves, they taste horrid, she cried. You silly baby, cried Majesty. Majesty took the ponies back to Dream Castle to get cleaned up. You should have known better, she said to Bubbles. All this lovely mud wasted, sighed Bubbles. No, we need it to rebuild our nests, cried the barn martins. The very warm weather has made our mud nests break up. We need your mud to mend them, cried the swallows. Please make us lots of lovely mud to make our nests warm and snug again until we leave in the autumn. I will, cried Bubbles happily.